Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of AI agents, which is a technology that's not only reshaping industries, but also impacting our daily lives and jobs. In the next few minutes, I'm going to explain to you what AI agents are, their impact, compare modern agents with earlier AI systems, and outline a research-backed approach to building your own. Questions that I had and I really wanted to fully understand. I mean, even as someone who is very technical and has been in AI for a while now, consults companies on AI, builds videos on AI, goes to school, I'm getting my post-grad in AI, I still couldn't, I had some issues challenges, let's say, wrapping my head around what are AI agents and why are they such a big deal? And that's what we're gonna cover today. So when you leave this video, you can easily explain what they are and how to build your own. So what exactly is an AI agent? At its core, an AI agent is a software system designed to perceive its environment, process information, and take actions to achieve specific goals. Imagine it as an intelligent assistant that works independently, handling tasks without needing constant human oversight. Okay, but it brings up the question, then why, what makes AI agents so exciting today? Well, it's their ability to learn, adapt, and integrate seamlessly with other technologies, which is really transforming the way we work, live, and interact with the world. Now, there are two broad categories that you really need to know about. One is rule-based agents. These follow predetermined rules and are excellent for simple, repetitive tasks. For instance, many customer support chatbots operate on predefined scripts to handle FAQs. Their responses are fixed, making them reliable for routine queries, but they can only handle what's being explicitly programmed to them. And this is where learning-based AI agents come in. These leverage machine learning to adapt over time. They improve by analyzing data from past interactions. This is similar to the recommendation engine on services such as Netflix and Spotify. Instead of sticking to a fixed script, they learn to recognize patterns and nuances, allowing them to deliver more personalized and context-aware responses. Now, let's combine, though, the best of both worlds. And this is exactly what many modern AI agents do today that I found really interesting. They use a hybrid approach. So they use rule-based for predictability, for tasks that require consistency where rules are well-defined, the rule-based component can ensure reliable operation. And then there's machine learning for adaptability. The learning-based component can handle things such as variability, adapts to new information, and personalized interactions. But it brings up the question, why are they such a big deal in 2025? Everywhere you look, you see them. AI agents have reached a new level of sophistication and integration this year. Well, it feels like this year anyways, because it's everywhere you look in the news. One is unprecedented efficiency. Thanks to advancements in machine learning and increased computational power, I mean, especially through cloud computing, AI agents can now handle complex data-driven tasks around the clock, boosting productivity and reducing human error. Another reason they're so popular right now is enhanced personalization. I mean, we have vast amounts of data available and improved algorithms. So AI agents can offer personalized experiences, whether it's tailoring recommendations, optimizing business processes, or enhancing customer service. The ability to learn from individual interactions is revolutionizing how businesses and services operate. And this brings us to our third one, which is transformative innovation. Industries like healthcare, finance, retail, and even transportation are leveraging AI agents to solve problems that were once honestly considered intractable, couldn't be solved. From early disease detection to real-time fraud prevention, these agents are driving innovation, delivering real results. And the fourth one is adaptability in what feels like a really quickly changing world. In a rapidly evolving global landscape, the ability of AI agents to adapt to new data and continuously improve makes them invaluable. They're not just tools for today, they are platforms that grow smarter over time, which is something really important to know. And this really helps us meet challenges we might not even realize exist yet. So when you think of AI agents, think about they are for automating routine tasks, but also, which is very important, they are central to transforming and enhancing our daily lives. They embody the convergence of robust rule-based systems we spoke about to more dynamic and machine learning way progress. Way progress? That didn't really make sense. But today's AI agents can often combine both approaches, and that is key. Rule-based for logic for predictable tasks and machine learning for adapting to new complex scenarios. But okay, great, now you understand what these agents are, but why do they matter so much? Why is everywhere you look people speaking about it? That's what I really wanted to understand. 
Well, a McKinsey Global Institute report highlighted that AI-driven automation could boost productivity from 20% to 40% in many industries. AI agents work 24 seven. They handle tasks such as scheduling, data analysis, and customer inquiries, freeing up human resources for more strategic roles. Another reason is enhanced personalization. We kind of spoke about this earlier and Harvard Business Review really really did a good study on this. They showed that personalized experiences powered by AI can dramatically improve customer engagement. This is a really good example. AI systems that product that recommend products based on your previous behavior can significantly increase customer satisfaction and drive sales. And I'm sure you've been there before. Another way is innovative problem solving. Let's talk about healthcare. AI agents are now analyzing medical images and assisting with early diagnoses. MIT Tech Review recently showcased AI tools that can help detect conditions like cancer at early stages, supporting physicians with more accurate data. I hope when you're listening to some of these findings anyways, they confirm that these AI agents aren't just these futuristic concepts. They're here and they're transforming tools, driving efficiency, personalization, and innovation. So, Okay, here's another thing I wanted to understand is how AI agents work from basic to advanced. So let's walk through, this is what really got nailed at home for me. Let's walk through a typical flow of an AI agent in action. Let's go through a basic flow. So kind of old school rule-based approach, if you will. And then let's go through an AI agent approach today. So the basic flow starts with a trigger or initiation. A customer visits a website and clicks on the chat icon. Then we have input processing. The chatbot receives a greeting and looks for keywords like support or billing. Next up is decision making. Based on the predefined rules, the chatbot identifies the issue. For example, selects a scripted response. And then we have response generation. The chatbot then replies and says something like, I see you're having billing issues. Can you provide your account? The conversation follows a fixed path. If the customer deviates, the system might struggle or escalate to a human agent. And that is where advanced AI agents come in, where I think they're so fascinating anyways. And this is a small example. Remember, we're just talking about customer support, but when you think of this on a larger scale, helping you code, helping make decisions, it's pretty wild. So first we start with trigger initiation again. A customer starts the conversation via the chat interface. Then we have input and processing. So the AI agent then uses advanced natural language processing to understand not just key words, but also context, sentiment, and intent. It can detect if the customer is frustrated or confused, which is pretty cool. Then we have dynamic decision making. Rather than following a fixed script, which we just spoke about the rule-based uh, agent would follow, this agent dynamically decides the next steps. It may greet the customer, ask clarifying questions, and then analyze historical interaction data to predict the issue accurately. Lastly, we have response generation. The AI agent then generates a personalized response that is unique or personalized, such as I noticed you have a billing issue. It appears you might've been charged twice. Is this correct? So this response is based on learned patterns and user history. Then we have learning and adaptation. After each interaction, the system isn't done there. It collects feedback, either via direct ratings or by measuring resolution success and uses this data to redefine or refine its future responses. And then we have one more, we're almost there, system integration. The advanced agent might also integrate with CRM systems or databases to retrieve detailed customer histories, enabling even more tailored interactions. So you can see there's a lot more steps in this one to make it really personalized. Modern AI agents enhance the rule-based flow by incorporating context, continuous learning, and real-time integration, which no surprise results in a more effective and personalized user experience. Okay, but then brings up one more question, which is how does this differ from past AI systems? Like what makes it so special? I need to, I need to really understand that. Now let's see what exactly makes today's AI agents so revolutionary. One is static versus dynamic system. So in the past, static rule-based systems, as we spoke about, early AI was predominantly rule-based with fixed scripts. We covered this throughout the video, so it should be hammered in pretty good now. These systems could only handle inputs that match predefined patterns and couldn't adapt without manual updates. Today, we have dynamic adaptive systems. So modern agents combine rule-based logic with machine learning. As I mentioned earlier, they use NLP, natural language processing, for contextual understanding and adapt their responses over time by learning new from new data. And this approach allows them to handle a broader range of scenarios and continue to improve. 
Number two is limited versus personalized interactions. So in the past, obviously it was very limited. Traditional systems offered more of a one size fits all response with no regard for individuals and their data. They couldn't store user history or provide personalized experiences. Today, obviously we're very personalized. Current AI agents tailor interactions based on user data and past behavior. And this personalization means that every user can receive a more relevant and engaging experience, which is similar to to the personalization recommendations that we kind of spoke about earlier on whether it's through chatbots or systems like Netflix or even Spotify. All right, let's talk about building your own AI agent. This is something that whether you're technical or not, you should do. And just as a side note, I'm gonna share with you kind of a step-by-step -step approach, but after this, I will share with you some courses that can help guide you. So if you're not super technical, you can still follow along. First is you need to define your objective. Figure out the problem. Decide what problem you want your AI agent to solve. For example, do you want it to answer customer questions or recommended products? Or maybe you want it to code certain parts of your code for you. Next, you need to choose the right tools. So programming basics, 101, let's get into it. Many developers use obviously Python. It has so many tools, modules, libraries that can be associated with AI. That's my favorite language. There are spe special libraries too, such as Hugging Faces Transformers that help the AI understand and work with the human language. There's also some no code options. So if you're not comfortable with coding, you can use user-friendly platforms like Google's Dialogflow, IBM's Watson Assistant to build your agent, which is pretty fun too. Leave in the comments if you want us to build an AI agent. Number three is designing your own system. So you have to break it down. Think of it as your project and it has different parts to it. So input, how the AI receives information like text or speech, processing, how the AI makes sense of that information, and then decision making, how it decides what to do. Then the last step, of course, is output. How does it respond? You also need to plan your data flow, plan how you will collect and prepare the information the AI needs. Clean and organized data works better, obviously, with the AI. Which brings us to step four, collect and prepare data. And one, just a little tip, if you're not super technical or newer to the space, look for data sets in places like Kaggle. Uh, that's where I always find my data set. And there's so many options there that can help match your objective. Then step five is build and train your model. So you have to pick the right method, choose an approach or algorithm that fits to what you're trying to do. And there are simple methods for basic tasks and more complex ones for more advanced tasks. Okay, there are a ton more steps in the nitty gritty of it, if you will. I'm gonna share with you some courses up here that I really love uh, for building your AI agent, but also understanding how this works. I mean, I hope when you leave this video, you feel like you really are prepared to explain what AI, AI agents are and even how to build your own, even if you're a non-technical person, I think it's important to understand the steps taken to building one. But these courses I mentioned are really great, especially for learning more and building your own. And once again, I think even if you're not looking to become an AI engineer, just learning how to build some of these things really offers a great way to feel comfortable with talking about these topics and, and understand what they're capable of. So let me know in the comments if for the first AI agent we build together, should it be one that has coding involved with Python? Should it be a no-code AI agent we build? Leave in the comments and I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever video uh, people vote on the most. I just wanna leave you with some closing thoughts. So AI, as we know, is transforming our daily lives and AI agents are a really big part of that next step and what it means to have these, as we mentioned at the beginning of this video, these assistants that can really help us with our daily lives, with our coding, our emails, our workflows. And while they're still relatively new as far as what's available for us to and users to use, we're gonna see that explode this year. So having an understanding of them are super important. I hope this video has provided you both with inspiration, maybe to build your own, and maybe if you're interested in growing, growing your career in AI, you can do so. Or if you're on the business side, just understanding what it is. Make sure to subscribe for more videos that are backed by research, real world applications, covering topics such as AI, coding, and future tech in general. I think it's the only way to stay up to date and prepared is by taking a few minutes, listening to some of these videos and understanding it more and just staying curious. Make sure to hit that subscribe. I just said that. Okay, no more coffee for me today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon.